Hey everybody. Oh, its shapes need to be new and improved. Huh? What do you think about that? I don't know. A new recipe for aren't its shapes. Well, what was wrong with them? Did they need to be improved? Oh, let's go to the store. Let's find out. Well, here you go. Four varieties, all new, all improved. I wonder what it means. We've got the cheddar, the nacho cheese, the barbecue and the pizza. So, of course, pizza and barbecue are going to be most people's favourites. So let's try them to start off with. Uh, evidently, the flavour is on both sides of the biscuit now rather than on one side. And there's some kind of new stickability of that flavour, so it doesn't end up in the bottom of the packet, but rather stays on the biscuit. Uh, okay, interesting concepts. Well, I'm so used to getting to the bottom of a packet and licking my finger and getting the last little bits of whatever that flavour goodness was. Um, so there you go. It's all based more around uh, corn flour than wheat flour. So there's going to be texture changes. There's obviously going to be flavour changes. There's more, there's more sugar and less salt, generally, in the four of them. So that's just from reading the packets. Let's find out what happens when you actually eat the little guys. All right. Pizza shapes. School time favourite for so many people. Growing up as adults, they continued on as being a favourite, sort of an alternative to potato chips. The odour, the smell coming out of the pack is slightly different. There you go. Flavour on both sides, quite obviously. There's an obvious intenseness of the flavour with a slight hint of more sugar. It is a sweeter flavour. There's so much debate online about the fact that this one has gone to the dogs. But I don't mind it. Some people have said that it's too spicy. I think it's okay. I don't mind that level of spiciness in that. Compared to the old one, it is different. It's still got a crunch to it and the biscuit. I've heard that that was another problem. Not crunchy enough. Well, I find the pizza okay. Let's move on. Well, if it ain't broke, you know the rest. Don't fix it. Arnott's saw a need to fix it. Open other end. Okay. I often make that mistake. Open, opening, trying to open the wrong end. Okay, what have we got here? Now that does smell different. Now with more flavour. Once again, the flavour is on both sides of the biscuit. That is obviously more sugary. To me, the biscuit has still got a crunch. Maybe the crunch level is just slightly less, but that's quite acceptable, not too bad. And the flavour is different, but is it actually bad? Not too sure about that. I think it's still okay. The savouriness of it has been diminished slightly by the sugar. So I'd say this is still savoury. This one's still spicy. Pizza spicy, barbecue savoury. Um, barbecue, obviously different. How much different is marginal? Okay, let's move on. Get another nice clean plate. <clears throat> the cheddar. New and improved. Which is the right end? Open other end. Okay. Okay. 
there's not too much smell coming out of that. Okay, the cheddariness is there. It's a bit harder to see because it's basically the same colour as the biscuit. I would say that's similar to the old one. Hmm, a bit of an aftertaste. That's a muddy aftertaste. I think they're going to be more popular. The pizza and the barbecue are going to be more popular because there is actual more intenseness in the flavour. I would say the cheddar is just bland. The cheddar was always a bit bland though, in my opinion, and probably why it wasn't as popular as these other two. So far, my favourite would be the pizza. I do like the spiciness level of that. Lucky last. The nacho cheese. Now, in my case, this was always my popular one. The one that I preferred. Um, I've got the right end. Now that is a different smell to the old recipe. Mm. I always enjoyed these because of the intenseness of the taste, uh, the very strong sort of cheesy flavour, and it was always my go-to one. Put them right there. Mmm. Oh. Okay, now this is the one I'm really going to be disappointed with. The crunch is not there. That is a softer biscuit. A definite softness, a softening down of the crunch. Previously, my preference of these would have been nacho cheese way out in front. It's going to change. I like the pizza. The nacho cheese has been sweetened and the savouriness has been diminished. That's a bit disappointing. For me, that's disappointing. I now prefer the pizza. Let's check it out again. Yeah. Then the nacho cheese, the barbecue. Yep. And last of all, the cheddar. Hmm. Too bland. My previous preference was the, the, was the cheddar, the nacho cheese, and then the barbecue. So they've changed dramatically. The cheddar was always last for me. And that's where they are now. Wow, what do you think of that? I'd be very interested to hear what you guys are thinking about this new and improved recipe. You know, why did they change it? I have no idea. Maybe they think there's a new market out there. Obviously, they think that people have got a sweeter taste because that is generally an opinion over the whole lot of them. I think they were better the way they were. I do think that. Um, I really liked the old nacho cheese don't like this one so much so the pizza one mm, a lot of people have said really bad things about the pizza shape okay it is a bit different but I don't mind it I don't mind the way it's come out and uh, the barbecue is still okay so those three are okay this one is just chuck it I don't like it and I never have and I still don't that's what I think of the new and improved versions of Arnott's Shapes. Guys, go out and check them out. Tell me what you think about them. There's going to be a lot of opinion about this because they're such traditional flavours. And to change something that's traditional, well, if it ain't broke, yeah, don't fix it. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you again very soon. Bye. Mm. Now I'm angry. Wow. It's huge.